All right, folks, what's going on? This is episode 621 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am VF Baller. Over here, we talk about Georgia Southern and Atlanta Falcons football. And uh, it's Friday. We made it through another week. It's quite awesome that we made it. And, uh, you know, it is um really uh satisfying when you had your ups and downs throughout the week, going through Monday through Friday, and you finally make it through. And the weekend's here, and you figure out what you're going to do. I don't have any plans, but who knows? I may do a little bit of everything, or I may do a little bit of nothing. But nevertheless, we're here, and today we're going to talk about the Atlanta Falcons. We're going to talk about B. John Robinson, um, how he could be uh, a, a definite game changer, and how he can change the identity of the Falcons. Uh, so we're going to get into that and um, just go from there. If this is your first time here, welcome. I can be found on YouTube and Rumble. Also on Spotify, Stitcher, Apple, Google Podcasts. I will say this again. Stitcher is going to be ending sometime in August. So if you are on Stitcher, I advise you to go to Spotify, Apple, or Google. Um, hopefully, I think they're going to switch all the podcasts over to Pandora. I'm not really sure, but um, I am shooting for the moon. So hopefully, I'll be on bigger uh, platforms sometime down the road. I uh, can be found on Twitter at VFBaller. And uh, the website is firstandframerates.com. You can go over there. You can support the channel. You also can subscribe to the podcast and be your own program manager. All right, let, let's just go ahead and get into this. B. John Robinson is impressing a lot of people on and off the field. I mean, it is amazing how well he has come into the Falcons organization and changed a lot of things for the Falcons, the way they're looking at the running back position. Because not only that he's going to be running, playing, being a running back, he's actually going to be catching um, footballs out the backfield, probably play a little bit of slot receiver. He's going to be like an offensive Swiss Army knife. He's going to be able to do a little bit of everything. And how is that going to change the identity of the Falcons? Well, we have been known as a finesse team. We've been known as a very soft team at times. But that you can see for the past couple of years that have changed. You know, uh, the way that we run the ball, we're really, you know, taking it to defensive lines and actually, you know, moving people. And when you have a guy like this who's not only that could just – be a finesse player, but he can run between the tackles and, and, and really punish players as well. It is going to be a game changer for this entire organization because he's such a wild card. He's such a dynamic player and his, uh, his ability to play football is rubbing off on others. There's been a reporter out now about how Tyler Algier is actually learning from Bijan Robinson and how others are impressed with his maturity and how things are ran in practice now. Now, what does this mean? The old identity, like I said, for the Falcons, we was a little tough at sometimes that we played a lot of finesse ball. But when you were able to run the ball and be as dynamic at, at, at running the ball, and you turn around and bring in a weapon like B. John Robinson, you already got the other players who are pass catchers. You got a quarterback that looks pretty decent and could probably take his game to the next level. It depends on how much he has learned and how much his ability has improved. Uh it's going to change the the whole dynamic of this team. But the reason why I point out B. John Robinson because he's such an influence to other players on the team, all offense and defense. And he is a game changer. He is a difference maker. Um, I'm getting a lot of Alvin Kamara vibes. But for some reason, no disrespect to Alvin Kamara. He's from a North Cross here. He's a New Orleans Saints now. But he's from North, North Cross, so give him a little props. But I, I feel that B. John Robinson could be a little bit more. And the reason why I say that, because when, when, when B. John Robinson was in college, he was a little bit more decorated than Alvin Kamara. Well, you know, he was like, you know, this guy here was already touted to be the best player in the draft, possibly. Um, I, you can make a case he's probably the best offensive player. You know, I mean, and I think that the Falcons, you know, and with all said and done, they, they necessarily didn't need him. But they went to go at them because they want a game changer. They want something to change the dynamic. They want somebody to change the identity of the Falcons. I think this kid is going to be very special. And as much as we give a lot of slack to Desmond Ritter, is he's going to be the face of the offense. Is he's going to be the face of the franchise. Is he going to be a franchise quarterback? But when you have guys like B. John Robinson, Tyler Algie, and Cordell Patterson in the backfield, it's going to make... Desmond Ritter job a lot easier. So the weight of the world is not going to be on his shoulders. So he doesn't have to be the person that necessarily changed the, the, the dynamic or the identity of this team. I already said it before. All, all, all Desmond Ritter, all Desmond Ritter has to do is just not make mistakes. 
He doesn't have to be throwing for 400 yards. He does not have to be running the ball and scrambling all over the place and be a gunslinger. He just needs to not make mistakes when he's in the pocket. You have enough weapons around you. You have a dangerous weapon with number seven on the team. I'm not talking about Michael Vick. I'm not talking about Young Wei Koo. I'm talking about B.J. Robinson. And when you have a weapon like this, this kid could be the game changer or the difference maker or the identity changer of this team. Now you're looking at a team that looks way more dynamic. They don't look finesse. They look dynamic. And, and this is all based on what I've been hearing out of, out of, you know, out of the camp of the Falcons. This kid is being touted as an absolute stud at playing the position of running back or wide receiver or just being a football player. So when you have this type of player and you already have a Drake London, Kyle Pitts, John o. Smith, Scotty Miller, Mac Hollis, you have some weapons out here that are not just, you're not necessarily like, you know, elite players, but I, I think that Drake and, and Kyle Pitts can, can be elite players. You're not talking about just, you know, elite players. You're talking about a lot of solid guys that can get it done. And if Desmond Ritter can be able to get the ball to these players, and you get to get the ball to a player like B. John Robinson, he can make a lot of things happen being as electric that he can be. It's going to be a lot of problems for the NFL. And all this talk about the type of team the Falcons were is going to change instantly. Because once you feel like that B. John Robinson is take a chokehold of the football game, Tyler Algier, Cordell Patterson could come in and just kill the, you know, just kill off what's left of the of the uh, of the opposition. Just kill their spirit, you know. So it, it is a very, very uh, interesting how this is going to play out because you, you you know what you got with Tyler Algier. You know what you got with Cordell Patterson. Cordell Patterson is somewhat of a Swiss Army knife himself, but he's a little getting up there in age and you don't want him to do too much. So you kind of know what you're getting out of those two. When B. John Robinson's in the mix, you don't know what's going to happen with anybody now because they could switch it all up. And Tyler Algier already saying, He's learning from B. John Robinson. Cordell Patterson already know what to do out the backfield as far as running and or catching. And I haven't even talked about the offensive line and the receivers or the tight ends. This is how a guy like B. John Robinson, you throw him into the mix of what this team already had last year, the number one rushing team in the in the league. And you, I think they were number one. Please, if I'm wrong, please uh, correct me. But um, when you have all of this and you throw B. John Robinson into the mix, the whole complexity of this team just changes because you don't know what that's going to happen if him and Algier in the backfield together or him and, especially him and Cordell Patterson in the backfield together. That's going to be a problem. You know, sometimes even a B. John Robinson back there by himself could be a decoy to get other people open. It, it's a lot that goes into this. And I think a lot of people are starting to see this because you don't hear too much about the Falcons from the pundits. Even though NFL, you know, the NFL Twitter page did something that was, you know, you know, you know they, they played that that particular game that 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 people continue to troll us on. But when you have a player like this, he could change the whole narrative. I don't think the whole Super Bowl situation will ever go away. But if you got a guy like him, like B. John Robinson, that could actually change the game with his athleticism, his vision, his football IQ it could change the identity of the Falcons now you're talking like yeah that happened back there you know in the Super Bowl but if we continue to move on the right path we could be making rewriting a whole other legacy for a whole other regime and what happened under Dan Quinn watch I'm not going to say it doesn't matter but more people start to understand like well hey this definitely wasn't the same team back then you know uh, you know but almost 90 percent of that team is gone so now it's time to re not gonna say rewrite, but start another chapter as far as being a Falcons fan. Because with this kid, B. John Robinson on the field, you can definitely, definitely change the identity and see the difference if this kid is able to perform on the field like he's doing so far in practice. If you like this commentary, if you like this commentary, the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me get out of here, y'all. It is Friday. I don't want to hold you guys up too much. I'm about at the 10-minute mark. I try to be between 11 and 15 minutes every day, Monday through Friday. I can be found on YouTube and Rumble, also on Spotify, Stitcher, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Check out the website, firstandframerates.com, and I'm on Twitter at VFBaller. I'm going to get up out of here. 
I'm going to look at some more things on the TVs and chill out for the night. I will see you guys. If anything breaking news happens, I will be here to talk about it. And I definitely will see you guys on Monday. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. And uh, y'all be blessed. Peace. Thank you.